Kaya, this is the 27th of March 2021. This is um, a test recording of the Ravenwood VR experience. And it's all about being able to simulate a photo photographic portfolio uh, of, of an outside shoot where you can take actual photographs within the virtual environment and then uh, display them uh, in a gallery and what we're seeing now is this is the menu screen obviously we've got um, about Ravenwood which hasn't been implemented yet we've got new to set up a new project and we've got load to load in a new project so click on new Okay, so we've pressed on new now, so I'm just going to put in um, a file name. So we'll call it uh, new. New 12, okay. And then okay, create. And as you can see, when it's created a new project, you've got uh, three options. You've got photo assignment, you've got gallery and obviously got quit and quit will take you back to the previous menu obviously photo assignment is going to take you to the 3d world to take your photographs once you take your photographs you come out and then you can go into the gallery to set up the pictures on the gallery walls okay that you've made and you can also save your gallery but we'll get to that in a second all right so click on photo assignment Okay, so now I'll just move my hands back the right way around. So now we're in the, the world that we've created. So this is an outside world which you can walk around by using the arrow keys. On, sorry, the, uh, the, the thumbstick to move around. And the direction in which you're left hand in facing, you'll, you'll move in that direction. So you can see this world that you're walking around. Okay, and we've also got um, a menu that we're holding at the moment. Okay, so there's one called menu, which will take you back to the menu. There's one called camera, which will set the camera up in a minute. And there's one called browse, which you can browse the pictures that uh, you've um, uh, taken. And obviously explore just takes you back to this area here. As you can see, we've got some areas. You can ignore the little sphere. That's just my testing for the sound. Okay, we can walk around. There's just some test areas at the moment I've just set up. In here but you can't see that at the moment okay so if we click on the camera settings we get the camera view okay so this blue uh, red rectangle is the field of view of the camera that we've got and this represents a 50 millimeter uh, standard lens with no zoom on it okay And we can also uh, change the, uh, it, either, it either can be uh, portrait or landscape. So let's say we keep all the settings as they are, and I can take a picture. Okay, I've just taken my first picture. So this time I'm going to take um, a picture of this scene, but then start changing some of the settings. So as you can see, I'm in I'm in aperture mode, and you can see the f-stops. And as I press, as the f-stops get bigger, obviously the aperture gets smaller, and therefore it gets darker. Okay, and I can flick through, and it come comes back to. Uh, I haven't got the uh, exposure setting just yet, but what I can do is. I can change the focal length of the camera. So if I just just go back to that, and I change uh, the focal length, and you can see here as I as I change the focal length, you can see it gets blurred, and I get so that gets into shot. So I've got that in focus. Okay, and then I can take a picture of here. Now, this will look out of focus when I take the first picture. 
And obviously when I change the focal length, so it's a lot more further away. As you can see it's in it's sharp now and I take a picture of that. And then I can go back to my browse the pictures and I can flick through my pictures. Obviously that's very, very blurred and that's sharp. So you can see you can change the settings of the camera. So I've taken a series of photographs. Not I'm I'm not I'm not a photographer at the moment and there's there's, there's some tweaks we can see the basic functionality of this. So if I go to um menu and then save shots. I'm just going to show you how you can uh, load up um, a file that you've already saved. So we go to load. It will check what files are already in there. You can you can save multiple files, but we'll use this one. I'll load that up, and then I'm going to go to the gallery. So we're in the gallery now, and obviously we can create um, uh, some walls. So I'm going to create a wall. And I'm going to point to the ground where I want to create the wall, and then click on Create. And I'm going to move the spawn point, and then create a new wall. Okay. If you make a mistake, we can just delete the one that's selected, and just select the previous one, and delete that. And just, just delete the ones that are Just get rid of those. And if you've made a mistake, I just select them and delete. It's because I was pointing the ground. Okay, so we've got one wall. So select that wall, and then we move the spawn point. Create a new wall. That spawn point, and each one. I can rotate. Okay. Or whatever, whatever I want. I can also adjust the wall by increasing its height and its length. So you can you can change as much as you want. And we'll just create one more wall. So go back to walls and change the uh, select which wall and just change the spawn point and then I'll create a new one there and I'll just you can see it's created in the same position so that's easy to do so select that one and we'll just rotate that one a little bit more so now we've got a nice um, space to put our pictures on. So now I'll just go to picture and uh, create a picture. Now this is from the row of the film that we've created and as you can see we've already got some pictures on there. And I can point where I want the picture to go. You can see the yellow rectangle and then that's it placed on there. I can create another picture and I can that floats onto there. Now we notice that the pictures are the same, but we can change that by the roll. So I can just change the pictures, and I can also change the scale of that picture. And I can go back to the other picture and just change its scale. Okay. Don't worry too much about adjusting the pictures, but we can do that later on. I'll just put couple more pictures on this wall so let's create a new picture and then we'll just fire that onto this wall create another one and so forth and don't worry if you drop the picture by mistake you can see that there's a red highlight around it we can delete that picture and then we can create a new one so it's very very flexible so we'll just file one onto there. Okay. And then we'll just change that picture. We'll highlight it and then just change the photo. 
So we've got a variation of photographs. So these are the ones I, I took before. So just select that one there and just scale it up. And just change the photo. A nice blurred photo. <laughs> so go back to this one. And just scale that up. So here we are, we've got different pictures. And what's beauty of it now is if you go to menu, I can save the picture position and all the parameters. I could also save all the walls. And then when I quit out, if I can I could do another scene where I can load up load it up again. Go back to the gallery. And this time if I load in the pictures the pictures are loaded back to where they were and I load in the walls the, the walls are loaded in but now what we can do is we can select the individual pictures which that one is selected go to picture adjust and we can fine-tune the picture position we can even rotate them if we wish and just move that back a little bit. and let's say we wanted to adjust this one just move that across there move it down go to that one maybe move it up and this one move it across and then we can save all of that with menu save pictures save walls and what we could do is we could go to pictures and delete them all and we could also go to walls and delete all walls and then I can go back to menu and this shows that it's all been saved so we show load say load pictures and then load walls we're back to where we are before so very very flexible system okay Bing. Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm just going to give you a bit of a, a walk around the environment to, to tell you what 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 the potential are of this. As you can see, it's a it's an it's a uh, exterior shoot in this part of it. So there's lots of uh, elevations, uh, so you can take different shots from different perspectives. I'll just increase the camera setting on here. As you can see, in the final version, there'll be obviously there'll be reeds, there'll be fish, there'll be uh, artificial intelligence animals which will be moving around. So there'll be there'll be birds. That's why it's called Ravenwood. So there'll be there'll be ravens on top of the roofs, and they'll they'll have a random movement, and you'll be able to use your photographic equipment to get them. Uh, if we move around, there's obviously various trees. And if we move through here, there's a little duck pond as well, as we come round this corner. Okay, so there'll be ducks. Obviously, get too close to the ducks, uh, they'll fly away. So you might need to change your lens, maybe use a, a, a telephoto lens for that. And uh, there will also be um, a human element to it, because the scenario is you actually start off here uh, there's a guy called Ben who's a a woodcutter who's retiring and he'll be spawned into this level be walking towards you so you need to think think about the type of photographs that you're going to shoot of this person who is last day at work so he'll be walking towards his woodcutter's hut so I'll take you to there through these through these trees so obviously you can be walking around and we'll just walk over to his hut and obviously you'll go to his hut to um, and that'll give you an opportunity to go and do an, an, an interior shot we could have different weather changing and also he could be sitting there smoking his pipe and you'll also be able to position yourself in walking through uh, the the hut and also cutting down trees 
okay, and doing all of his jobs, and you'll do a portfolio of shots showing his last day of work.